Hello and welcome to a Laguna quick start tutorial for the PL1220 laser machine. In this tutorial, I want to show you basically how to get uh, RD Works loaded onto your machine and a couple of parameters that need to be set for that machine, that specific machine. So let's take a look. I am here on a Mac and um, basically I can run RD Works on this Mac by using what's called the Virtual Box. Uh, if I click on the Virtual Box Manager, this is made by Oracle and it basically lets me run Windows on my Mac in, in a window. So I have uh, Windows 10 loaded onto this machine and running through Oracle's Virtual Box. Um, you can find out more information about doing this online. Um, there's lots of great tutorials out there for it, so I won't really cover that here, but just know that that's what I'm using. So Windows 10 is running, and if I show right there, here is my window, and there is uh, Windows 10. Now, if you are on a, a PC, of course, you can um, take your uh, RD Works and put it in your program files or anywhere you want. Um, essentially how I run it on this machine is I just keep RD Works in a folder and I just come down and I look for the logo, well, the actually the application logo, which is right here, and I'll go ahead and just launch that. So there I am, I'm, I'm inside of RD Works right away and it looks pretty good. So the first thing you want to do when you um, load up RD Works is take a look at your configuration and look at this page setting. And in this case, I have my page setting at 500 millimeters by 300 millimeters, which uh, approximates the table size of the PL1220. It's roughly a 12 inch by 20 inch table size. So. Uh, I'll stay with that. Now, you have a few other variables here. If you want to do some grid spacing that say like at uh, 100, you can go ahead and, and do that. And I'll leave the color the same and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So now you can see where these grid lines are spaced out a little further. I think what I'll do is go back to my page setting and set these grid lines at say 25. Um, so I'll set that at 25 and hit OK. So that gives me a little bit more to work with. All right. So the second thing that you want to look at is this in this configuration setting is the overall system setting. So on the system setting, I find what works really good is to have the uh, laser head in the center position, turn off the axis for the X mirror and leave the axis for the Y mirror on. Okay, we'll get in more into that in later tutorials, but I'm going to go ahead and, and keep that and I'm going to hit close. Now, one other setting that you might want to take a look at is the model. Um, I have the 644XS um, tagged here and I find that that gives great results. Um, it can be on the 644XG, um, but typically I would, I would choose this and leave Enable Auto on. All right, so now we're, we're ready to start a project inside of RD Works, and we have many options. Basically, like every other program, you have a file and an import option. Um, there's also editing options that we can do. But for the most part on this tutorial, I just wanted to show you how to get this loaded and on your machine. So in the next tutorial, we'll take a look at getting a project started and how to deal with some vectors in various programs and get you started with using your new PL1220.